Chapter 37 Next, Bezalel made the ark out of acacia wood. It was three and three-quarter feet long, two and one-quarter feet wide, and two and one-quarter feet high. It was overlaid with pure gold inside and out, and it had a molding of gold all the way around. Four gold rings were fastened to its four feet, two rings at each side. Then he made poles from acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. He put the poles into the rings at the sides of the ark to carry it. Then from pure gold he made the ark's cover, the place of atonement. It was three and three-quarter feet long and two and one-quarter feet high. He made two figures of cherubim out of hammered gold and placed them at the two ends of the atonement cover. They were made so they were actually a part of the atonement cover. It was all one piece. The cherubim faced each other as they looked down on the atonement cover, and their wings were stretched out above the atonement cover to protect it. Then he made a table out of acacia wood, three feet long, one and a half feet wide, and two and one quarter feet high. It was overlaid with pure gold, with a gold molding all around the edge. A rim about three inches wide was attached along the edges of the table, and a gold molding ran around the rim. Then he cast four rings of gold, and attached them to the four table legs next to the rim. These were made to hold the carrying poles in place. He made the carrying poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. Next, using pure gold, he made the plates, dishes, bowls, and pitchers to be placed on the table. These utensils were to be used in pouring out drink offerings. Then he made the lamp stand, again using pure hammered gold. Its base, center stem, lamp cups, blossoms, and buds were all of one piece. The lamp stand had six branches, three going out from each side of the center stem. Each of the six branches held a cup shaped like an almond blossom complete with buds and petals. The center stem of the lampstand was also decorated with four almond blossoms. One blossom was set beneath each pair of branches where they extended from the center stem. The decorations and branches were all one piece with the stem and they were hammered from pure gold. He also made the seven lamps, the lamp snuffers and the trays, all of pure gold. The entire lampstand, along with its accessories, was made from 75 pounds of pure gold. The incense altar was made of acacia wood. It was 18 inches square and 3 feet high, with its corner horns made from the same piece of wood as the altar itself. He overlaid the top sides and horns of the altar with pure gold and ran a gold molding around the edge. Two gold rings were placed on opposite sides beneath the molding to hold the carrying poles. Carrying poles were made of acacia wood and were overlaid with gold. Then he made the sacred oil for anointing the priests and the fragrant incense using the techniques of the most skilled incense makers.